This tutorial is going to go over how to create tables within GDP 11. So again, you want to start uh, with the basic parts of a table, which is 36D, and make sure you look through um, also, uh, 36E as well. And you are going to do the assignment on 36.1. Also, your word manual is really a great resource for these table lessons and that starts on page 69 in your Word Manual book and again uh, on page 132 in your normal textbook they have um, a table there as well for you to look at. So again we're going to do table 36.1 and they are calling it a boxed table. So I'm going to open my file. And if you look at the top of page thir or, um, 133, it's going to explain to you exactly what you need to do with each table. So again, number one says use single spacing, et cetera, et cetera. But one I really want to point out is number six, which says automatically adjust the column width. So I really want to make sure we go over that. So the first thing you need to notice in table 36.1 is it's a three by three table. It has three rows and three columns. So we're going to go to insert table. And right here, we're just going to make our table of ourselves with three by three. Then the cursor is ready for you to go in that first cell. And you just type in the name and you hit tab go to the next part of the table and you just want to take, type in the information on this table. Make sure not to leave spaces after the words. Okay, and that one is going to come up as a spelling error, even though it's spelled correctly. So again, we have done all the parts of the table, and we are on number six. So you're going to go, um, and I'm sorry, I mean number six on page 133. So it wants you to automatically adjust the column list, and what that means is you don't want all this extra space in the table. So you're in table tools, as you can tell from up here, and it wants you to go to layout and then you want to come here to this auto fit and then you just click auto fit contents and it will literally um, move that over for you and then a lot of people like to center their table in the middle of the page so you just have to highlight the table by clicking on this little square with four arrows in it and then you want to go to um, home and you just want to come in this paragraph group and hit center and that's all you have to do for this assignment. So you want to make sure you save this. File Save As. And again, save it in your keyboarding GDP folder. And we're going to save this one too. Okay, make sure you X it out. Browse for it and find it. Submit it and hopefully come up with no errors. And I have no errors. So that is how you create a table, uh, table 36.1. Okay, so I'm also going to help with table 37.5. So this is what they're calling an open table. And what an open table means is it does not want you to show the grid lines around the table. So we are going to go to 37.6. And again, make sure you read all the information around it um, in Lesson 37 in your Word Manual as well as your book. So I'm going to open this. And I see that on, on 37.6, on page 136, I have 1, 2, 3, 
for one, two, three, four, five rows and three columns. So again, you want to go to insert, and then you want to do five and three. Okay, so you'll notice though how the first row, uh, the title, goes across the whole table. And how you do that is you want to highlight that first row on the table all the way off. So you want to make sure you grab this formatting mark off the end here. You want to right click and you want to hit merge cells. And at that point, you can go to home, click the center alignment, and then you can type the title. Okay, so then for time's sake, I quickly put in the rest of the table. And how you do the rest of the table is just by tabbing through and typing in the information. And make sure you hit enter here and have an extra space here. So now I need to um, adjust the auto content. So I want to come up here and go to, um, I want to go to, I want to go to uh, Layout, Table 2 Layout, and I want to go to Auto Fit, Auto Fit Content. And again, you might want to come um, to Home and hit Center Alignment. And then to get rid of the grid lines, you want to come up here and you want to put No Border. And then that is what you call an open table. So we're going to save this. into our folder. And after I submitted it, I have two, er two errors, which I will have to go back and fix. But that is how you create tables.